Let's introduce the wiring and using of AWD-119 addressable I.O. module. Before wiring the addressable I.O. module, we need to program the addresses for each device. We have already programmed the addresses in advance. Since the addressable I.O. module occupies two addresses, when programming the address, the default address will be 001 and 002, which represent input and output. The address of the manual call point is 003. And the address of the strobe sounder, being the output device, is 005. And AWCSD381's mode detector is a conventional device, which has no address and does not need to be programmed. After programming the addresses, start wiring. First, lead out the wires from the addressable fire alarm panel. And connect them from loop out port of the the addressable panel to loop in port of the menu call point. Then the wires should be connected from the loop out port of the menu call point to the loop in port of the addressable I.O. module. The input and output of the addressable I.O. module are connected to conventional devices. For example, the current input terminal of it is connected to AWCSD381 conventional smoke detector. Because the addressable I.O. module is connected to conventional devices, no matter what the next device is connected to, a 6.8K resistor must be connected after the last device. Here, we connect the resistor to the addressable I.O. module in parallel. Next is the output. First, use the wires from the loop out port of the I.O. module. Connect them to the loop in port of the addressable strobe sounder. and then connect the wires to the addressable panel from the loop out port of the strobe sounder. This forms a loop. For the output of the I.O. module, because it is connected to conventional devices, it can be connected to conventional strobe sounder or other conventional products. Here we only connect to one strobe sounder, followed by a 6.8K resistor. After connecting the wires, search for the device addresses on the panel. Then the device can be used. Next, do the alarm test. The panel can reset the lower devices. Then do the manual call point alarm test. Okay. As shown, the manual call point and the panel can both trigger the alarming of the lower devices proving that all the devices on the loop can work normally.